Arc Humanities Press focuses on research in English on the period from roughly 200 to 1750. I set up the press in 2014 after becoming disillusioned by the lack of subject knowledge or an understanding of academic life at some major humanities publishers. So what we try to do instead is to work with scholars and help shape the field. We identify new areas of research and provide a publishing platform for them. We're a press run by professionals, including many medievalists. Most of our acquisitions editors have doctorates and we've taken the best features of European academic presses and target a truly worldwide audience. A key focus for us is promoting research on global, at least non-Western topics. We have publications on the Middle East to China, Russia and Eastern Europe, the Americas, even the South Pacific. And we're building a good list on pre-colonial Africa. We've always promoted research that is truly interdisciplinary. Our first ever book was a bestseller by Monica Green on pandemic disease in medieval Europe. This book brought together medievalists with social scientists and epidemiologists to examine the Chinese origins and spread of the organism that caused the Black Death. Now, we all know that our disciplines have to justify themselves to taxpayers. So we have series that examine the impact of the past today. We have many titles on cultural heritage, the development of memory institutions and the digital humanities. And we reach out to a broad public through our pocket size series, Past Imperfect. Our approach tries to stay cutting edge, seeking areas where we can support innovative scholarship. Recently, we started publishing editions since we could see the venues for such fundamental research diminishing. Of course, we demand excellent work approved by peer reviewers who we pay. Equally, from the outset, we've been concerned to support scholars in an inclusive way. Not only non-native speakers, including scholars from Eastern Europe or Latin America, or people who require intensive editorial support, but also early career researchers and independent scholars. Recently, we have all become more aware of the benefits of open access, but the funding of such books leads to inequity and favours people from rich institutions. To counteract this, we recently launched a crowdfunding initiative with learned societies, libraries and individual universities to support the publication of 20 or more open access books a year. So please do come and join us in our venture. Thank you. Mm -hmm.